with the DMB pin of the EHRP, the phase one, right? Phase two and phase three as well as, and also we have done with the MGRE, right? And we have also done with the, this was the point to multi-point and this, this is point to point, right? So we have done with the, all this concept, right? DMB pin point uh, over the EHRP, the phase one, phase two, phase three, GRE point to point, MGRE point to multi-point, right? In the phase one, what happened? Just for the you know, recap, uh, we, we have a, if you know, provide the communication between the spoke to us. Is arable, right? Okay, one minute. Back in, sir, Eight minute. Spoken. Oh, now this will be perfect, right? Yep. This will be good. So, so all good. So uh, we have seen this thing, but you know what is the common thing about this person? If I'm going to talk about the common, what is the issue with the DMPPN? What is the issue with the GRE? And what is the issue with the MGRE? The common thing, right? If I'm going to talk about the output perspective, right? The common thing is that all this VPN, right? What are the VPN we have seen? DMPPN, GRE, and MGRE. All these VPN are my clear text VPN. Total clear text. What is actually, if I'm going to uh, tell you, what is the actual meaning of VPN? VPN means what? It's a virtual private network, right? And what this guy is going to do, it just provide site to site, not site, uh, site to site connectivity over the public network. That's it, right? That is the use of uh, VPN. But you know what happened right now still, whatever the traffic that you are sending, right? whatever the data that you're extending, whatever the data that you're extending, all that data must be clear text. For example, if you just have a look right now, let me open my GNS today. I'll show you the problem right now. I'm just going to show you the problem with GRD because all they have a same problem. So let's open the sky GRD. I need some diagram in there. So router one, ISP. Then we have router number two. On other side, we can see that. So this is my router one that has ISP connectivity and ISP has a connectivity with another branch, right? And we have router number two. So this guy is 2 one for example, this guy's two or two, this guy's twenty-three or two, and this guy's a twenty twenty-three or three, and this guy's twenty-three or two. Right? We made a one tunnel between this person to this person that is a use uh, by using the GRE, right? So whatever the data that we are sending, all my data is go through the ISP. Whatever the data we are accessing, all my data is moving through the ISP. So we made a tunnel, right? We made a tunnel, but in the tunnel, what happened? Still on the tunnel, what happened? My, all the data in the clear text format. Anyone can see that, anyone. If you just have a look right now, what I can do, I'll make this so close. I'm just going to configure the GRE between the Delhi uh, location to the Bangalore. And we are going to exchange the route, this route through the GRE. And then also you, whatever the message that we are sending uh, uh, in the GRE tunnel, all this message will be clear text. Anyone can read it, right? Clear text means what? Right now, if I'm going to talk, if I'm talking to you right now, anyone can understand this language, right? That's the meaning of clear text. Do something like this that you only understand by the uh, sender and receiver, right? So do swipe interface brief. All we have, right? So if you do swipe protocol somebody, it's not configured. So let's do one thing interface zero slash zero IPO swap one area zero. And uh, Router number two, 
swipe interface brief. All good. So I said interface uh, interface zero slash zero IPS of one area zero and interface zero slash one IPS of one area zero. Okay, what happened? Interface zero slash one IP address moving. Okay, IP address is staying on there. No sir, on. no sir, on. interface zero slash one. IP address will be two dot two dot two dot one. Slash it, no sir, on. IPS of one area zero, done. So I'm just making a physical connectivity so that we can make a GRE because for any VPN, we must need to have a transport connection, right? I made a wrong thing. No, sir. Interface zero slash one, no IP address. And interface zero slash zero, or no IP address. IP address will be two 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 two. All done. No, sir. Done. IP is of one area zero. Right. And on R3, uh, that's my ISP, right? Brief. All good. Interface zero slash zero, IP is of one area zero. And interface zero slash one IP is of one area zero. Well, now what I can do, I'm just going to make a one tunnel between the R1 and R2. Interface tunnel one, IP address will be 2L or 1. Tunnel source will be 0 slash 0. Tunnel mode will be GRE multi point. And then not multi point. Tunnel destination will be 2 or 2 or 2 or 2. Done. Right, my tunnel is up. Same thing I need to do on the R2 side, this side, Bangalore side. Interface tunnel one, IP address will be 2L or 2, slash 24. Then my tunnel source will be 0 slash 0, tunnel destination will be what? I need to say the 101. And now I'm going to run the EGRP over the channel. I say that network 2L or 0, and network 2 uh, 192 or 0, that's my landing from on this guy. And on R1, I need to put the same command out of EGRP number one. I just want to show you what is the issue with this person, right? The GRE. Now let's do one thing. Let's capture this thing, right? And if you see whatever my traffic that I'm sending, right? I said the ping 2.1, right? What are the traffic that I'm sending? All my traffic in the affiliate experiment. Can you see? This is, my turn, uh, this is my public IP address, right? This is my turn information. And uh, the thing is that my all information, the data, you can see that all in my clear text point. It's totally a bad thing. Guys, just give me one minute. I'll just come in.
So you can see what's happened, guys, over there. All my information. Okay, law, you are. Yeah, exactly right. So can you see what happened? All my information in the clear text format, everything. Doesn't matter if you're going to implement, right? Doesn't matter if you're going to implement the GRE, you're going to do the MGRE, or you're doing the DMBPN, or any phases, phase one, phase two, and phase three, right? Every information that you can see in the clear text format. For example, I want to uh, I want to transfer my some amount of information. I have some credential information I'm sending from one location to the another location. For example, see this one. What I can do. In this information, I'm sending us some account, bank account password over there, right? For example, this is my uh, ABC is a password for any bank account, right? This information that you can see is still going in the clear text format. And what is ISP? The internet service provider, right? ISP has some good user over there, and at the same time, they have some bad user. So good user is what it's like a, a whatever the interested traffic they are sending, right? The good user is only interested, hey, I want to provide the communication, that's it. But what is the bad user? They are just trying to perform an attack on your data. They are just trying to perform an attack on your data. So whatever the things that we have learned till this point, the GRE, MGRE, and DABPN, all are the good, right? I'm not denying this thing is bad. They are still providing the Side to side and side to multi side connectivity over there, right? Over the ISP network. And we can exchange my all the route that is defining the RFC 1980. All we can exchange the private information, right? I have a separate overlay network, right? I have a separate overlay network. And through that overlay, I can exchange my all information. But the problem, these are clear text VPN. My data is not secure. My data is not secure. So to avoid this problem, what we have introduced, we have introduced the another protocol that is known as a IPC. What this guy is going to do, basically, what do you know what, what happened? The data can be a two things, right? Either data can be at rest and data at moving. So in the data at rest, what happened? The data will be present in your maybe in your pen drive, right? In your hard disk, right? This data are too secure, right? There's no issue with this one because you can set your password in the pen drive. You can set your password in your laptop and you can secure your data. That is a data address, but data at motion, right? Data is data at move. The data that is moving over the internet, right? That data is not secure. We need to provide the security. And how do I provide the security and data move? By using the implement the protocol that is known as the IPsec. What is data? Data is nothing but just a piece of information. We just need to provide the security, right, to this particular information by using a protocol that is name is a IPsec. And you can integrate this IPsec protocol with GRE, MGRE, and DMBPNS plus. So basically right now what happened if you see if you just have a look at this topology the pc user one right user number two and user number three a b and this is what attacker So whatever the data, whatever the trans data you're transferring between the, this guy to this guy, right? This is my physical connectivity over there. So whatever the data that you're transferring between this person to this person, 
all my data can listen or he are uh, seen by the this particular guy this attacker can sniff right this attacker is behave like a eavesdropper right this attacker is behave like a eavesdropper they can sniff all your information whatever the information that you are exchanging in this particular packet this is my genuine user right this is my source over there and this is my destination right but what is this this guy is attacker so whatever the traffic that you are sending from one location right the source is the for example the delhi and we have a, i'm sending the information to the bangalore office right what is the information that we are exchanging through the isp right on the isp we have some bad user they can easily sniff your data so do we have any confidentiality over there lots of i don't have confidentiality right anyone can anyone can see my data right this attacker can view whatever the data that we are accessing for example i am sending your, your bank account password is 123 and he is transferring some amount of dollar for example they are transferring the 100 dollar over there we can easily see the what information they are exchanging if the, the user a the source guy is saying hey do one thing send the 100 dollar in the bank account number 123 and b is sending so what happened this attacker can see whatever the information that you are exchanging so what attacker is going to do they can gather the information right they can store the information they can gather the information and after that they can do anything maybe they can threat you right maybe they can threat you doesn't matter you have make a gre tunnel right doesn't matter you make a gre tunnel or dmpn still my data is in the clear text so there is no confidentiality over there right now before uh, without implementing the ipsec right without implementing the ipsec i'm just let you know what is the problem is happening the same example user a user b and tag a b and attack right and this guy has a physical connectivity again this guy has a physical connectivity between the pc and the pcb this is the source again right and this is the destination right so right now here what in this picture we have a loss of confidentiality right now what happened if the a will start transfer some information take example this is my actual path right this is my actual path and in this information what information i'm sending i'm sending this information this is the data that i'm sending in this packet right still this data in the clear text right what i can do over there this attacker this attacker is going to sniff my information right this attacker is going to sniff my information and what they will do they will just modify this information okay say that okay let's do the modification in this data they have a ability right they can do that he said okay not 1 to 3 make it and now how this data will tra travel now this attacker will send this data to the actual destination so this is the actual flow that this is the source over there this is the destination right the flow is what this is the actual flow right this one is the actual flow but what happened now the flow has changed now the flow has changed the flow is there now the flow has changed from this location to this location because this attacker is going to sniff my data and they can do the any modification this attacker can do the any modification 
now attacker is doing modification in my data and we can't do anything because still my information is a clear text form can you see that this is the text format right or text format clear text format clear text means what anyone can understand the information text means what anyone can and anyone can modify so we can see that there is no integrity so we have a loss of integrity there's no integrity is happening in the previous case what happened try to understand this is the source let me write on this guy this is the source this is the destination right and here also this is the source and this is the destination in this case what happened we have a loss of confidentiality why because now this attacker is trying to see the information now what attack is doing attack and here we have a loss of integrity now again another issue we have try to understand user a user b now all we have a user a this guy is a user a and this guy is a user b right so my transaction is happening between the user a and user b but immediately what happened this attacker is pretend like a he i am a user a this is actually a attacker the role of this person is attacker right this role of this person is attacker but what this guy is saying to this person hey i am a user a but right now this guy is attacker this guy is pretending like hey i am user a so what happened we can make a neighbor relationship with this person or they can exchange the data to this guy so we can see that there is a loss of authentication there is no authentication is happening normally if you just have a look over there if i am just going to introduce a five four autos over there in my network right now and i'm going to provide the connectivity with the switch so they all are present in the same broadcast domain right and try to understand this behavior r1 r2 and r3 and what r4 is doing r4 is outside right now so i'm making a ehrp neighbor relationship between this guy and this guy and this is my attacker so we can change the symbol this person so let's change this guy and i'm saying that hey you are the attacker so do we have any attacker symbol i can make a host right so this guy is behave like a right so let's run the agrp 
between R1, R2, and R3. R2. Conflict in interface zero slash zero. IP address will be one one on slash eight. No, sir. Down router user be number one network zero 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 zero. R two. Interface zero slash zero IP address will be one one two slash eight. No, sir. Down router EHRP. Network zero 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 zero. R three. Interface zero slash zero. One one three, right? No, sir. Down router EHRP number one. Network zero zero zero. So can you see right now all this router is forming the neighborship, right? But is there any authentication is happening right now over there? No. So what happened if I'm going to just bring this person, this attacker in this network, and they are just going to provide the connectivity with the switch? Or what happened? They can easily form the neighborship, right? If you just have a look, R4, I'm just going to provide the IP addressing on this guy. Interface zero slash zero IP address will be. No sir, down and also the router EGRP number one network zero zero zero. What happened? This guy is going to form the neighborship. So now this attackers try to understand. This is the attacker. This attacker is forming the neighborship with this person, this person, and this person. So is there any authentication is happening over there? No, I cannot authorize the user over there. I cannot authorize the user. But once I say that hey, let's do the authentication, what I'm going to do between the R1 and R2, I'm going to apply the authentication over there. This guy to this guy. So what I can do, I'm just going to router number one. I say the interface or uh, keychain ABC key ID will be one, key string will be CCI, interface zero slash zero IP EHRP IP authentication. I said the keychain will be AVC that I have created, right? IP authentication mode, EHRP1, MD5. Do show history. I'm going to copy the same command on a router number two and router number three. Because all this is my genuine person, right? All this router one, router two, and router three are person in my network. But right now, what about the attacker over there? This attacker does not have any idea about the authentication. Because whenever this guy sends a hello packet, in this hello packet, what happened? If you just have a look, when the R4, right? When this attacker is sending the hello packet, in this hello packet, they are not putting the, any kind of password over there. Can you see? Is there any authentication field is happening over there? No. When R4 is sending the, he's trying to form the neighborship with the multicast address, right? When R4 is trying to form the neighborship with the EHRP with the R1, R2, R3, what R1 is saying that, hey, I'm running with the authentication. So what authentication is going to do? R1 is running with the authentication, right? R4 is not running with the authentication. So when R4 is sending a normal hello packet and is trying to form the neighborship with this person, this person, and this person, this person is saying that, hey, give me your password. This person said, give me your password, and this person said, give me your password. So does R4 has a password? No. So what happened? This guy said, hey, I can't form the neighborship with you. But when this router is going to exceed the hello packet, in this hello packet, what happened? They have a password over there. The password is CCI and CCI over there. So what happened? They will form the neighborship. So what authentication allow you? Authentication allow you to authorize the person. Authentication allow you to authorize the person. Otherwise, what happened? Any attacker is pretend like, hey, I'm a user A. But actually, the user A is present in the Delhi location. And on the internet side, somewhere else, maybe in the USA, this guy is pretending like a user E. 
and now whatever the transaction that you are doing the b is thinking hey i am doing the transaction with the a but whatever the information that you are sending that you are sending to the attacker not to the actually whatever the information that you are sending you are sending to the attacker not to the actual a so right now without ipsec we have a this kind of problem can you see that problem we have a loss of confidentiality anyone can see the information right we have a loss of integrity i can change the path the actual path is this guy but i can change the path over there i can change this masses and i have a loss of authentication as blast and do you know all this thing is happening for which person did i move whatever the data that is moving right did whatever the data that is moving on this person i am going to do the attack attacker is performing the attack on this person because data at rest is always secure right because you can set your password pen drive anything right the pen drive you can secure your password you can put your you can put your all data in your pocket in a pen drive but whatever the information that you are sending over the public network right whatever the information that you are sending over the public network this is not a secure because what information i am exchanging all my information is a clear text format of course we have a gre over there right what gre is going to do gre is just going to perform the encapsulation that's it it's just going to provide the connectivity between the site to site or if you go for the mgr it will provide the uh, site to multi multi site right and again the dmp pin but the main goal the main problem of the all this person the data so that's why we have introduced the protocol that is name is a ipsec what ipsec is saying that hey whatever the information right whatever the data that you are exchanging over the ip i need to provide the security over there whatever the information that you are exchanging over the ip i'm going to secure all this information so this information will be now after applying the ipsec what happened this information will be never seen never ever it is something do you know one thing if i am going to talk about in the 17 and 15th century right on that time what happened if i am going to talk about the 9th uh, 15th century right the 15th century what happened on that time when the one king right so take example there is a one king jaipur king and this is the uh, for example ek to je 15 century mein jo baat hai aise aise ek to देख लेना है
So in the 15th century, what happened? In the 15th century, there is a one king that's belonged to the, for example, Jaipur. Mostly the kings was of Jaipur and Delhi, right? They are the king, right? Bao, Nam. So take example, this is the 15th century. Maharana Pratap, 15th century. Prithvi Rajwa. Yes. A fifty Rajams. So take whatever cat Choro Jovita Akubar Thayar Akubar Kimel Rai. Akubar was belonged to the Delhi, right? That's a history. Akubar Yanit Yata. Fifty Racham. Yeah, why? No. Pertap Mahana Pertap, right? And this was Akubar. Do you know what happened on the time of the 15th century, right? Between Jaipur and Delhi, we have a multiple locations, right? Multiple locations, like uh, Punjab is also coming, Haryana is also coming, right? The multiple location, if you go from Jaipur to Delhi, the multiple location is coming on the time, right? Now, if this person, for example, if the Jaipur king wanna send some information, right? He, this guy is saying, hey, this guy is just going to inform to this person, hey, tomorrow we need to make an attack, right? Tomorrow, we need to make an attack. On, for example, on uh, some other country like, uh, or like an example, I'm going to make an attack on the Gujarat, right? So what happened in this case? This Pratap is just going to send this information to the Akbar, right? But do you know this information that we are sending in the text format? In this case, what happened? If there is a another king is sitting over there, right? In the in middle, in between, there's another king is sitting over there. They can easily see this information. Hey, Pratap and Akbar is planning to make an attack on the Gujarat. So what happened? They can see this information and they can inform to the Gujarat as well as right. So what they are doing on the time, they are just going to convert this masses into the different format. They're saying that okay, like this. Now this is this message understandable by this person now? No. This message, they are they are doing some modification in the data, right? They are do, doing some modification in the data. Or this message is only understandable by the Jaipur king or the Akbar. Sorry, the Delhi king. I'm going to do some modification in my data, right? I'm going to convert some of my data in the different format so that only the sender, right, and receiver can understand this information. Right now, whatever the communication that we are doing right now, for example, the person A and person B. If the person A uh, say that, hey, my name is A, and the person B say, that, hey, my name is B. So what happened? They are going to exchange the information, right? So in middle, if the other person is there, if the if drop are present, they can easily understand this information, right? But what happened? If I'm going to tell this person like this in any language, right, in a different language, will this person understand this guy, this message? Of course not. So whatever the data that we are exchanging right now through the GRE and DMP, all this data is maculatics. But what I can do if I'm going to convert this data like this, this information is only understandable by the sender and receiver because they know this language, right? This guy, the A know this language and B know this language. C cannot understand this language. It's sim simple, I can make it simple. For example, this guy belong to the China, right? And this guy also belong to the China. So what happened? China can understand the Chinese language, right? They can understand Chinese language and this guy under understand the Chinese language. But what about the Indian guy? Can this person understand the Chinese language? Of course not. So can we say that in this case, what happened? We have a confidentiality over there. Confidentiality in the sense of what? Only A can understand and B can understand, not the C. Same thing we are going to do with the data. What we are going to do? We are just going to convert this clear text, right? Whatever the, for example, hey, how are you? I'm going to convert clear text format into the some undeadable format. 
I'm just going to convert this clear text format into the some unreadable format. So that if I'm going to send this information on the ISP side, the attacker does not have any idea what information you are extending between the one location to the another location. We are just going to convert my clear text into the different format. And that different format will be a secret code. On readable format, we can see that. So I can, in a simple language, I can say that, hey, whenever, for example, A, B, C, Like this, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to change this word with the next five uh, number. I'm going to say, okay, now A will change with the E, right? F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Then again, A, B, C, D. So this is my, the first one, the first row is my text format. Right, this is a totally a clear text format. And this is my secret code, this one. A very easy way to understand this thing, how we can secure money data. This is my secret code. We have multiple ways to find the secret code, right? We have multiple ways. I'm just making a very understand easy way. So for example, if I'm going to write, hello, this is my clear text format, right? This is my clear text format. This is my message that is clear text format. How we can convert this message? So this is the sender. That sender will send this message. On an internet, how we are going to send this message? On an internet, we are sending this message like this. Okay, H will be now convert with the H will be now convert with the what it's a L, right? E is going to convert with the I, I, L is going to convert with the O, and O is going to convert with the S. One minute, H E, H E is going to convert with the L. E F G H I, S I. And uh, then H E dot L. E, where's the E? E is going to convert with the H. One minute. So I'm going to convert the H with the L, right? And then, then E will be converted with the I. And then we have a, a double L. L is going to convert with the O and O. And then we have O is going to convert with the S. Mirror. Lips. It's not lips. That we are going to learn later on. So you can see that how we are converting this information. This is my text format. This is the secret code. And this secret code, right? This secret code is only understandable by the sender and receiver. This secret code is only understandable by the sender and receiver. So what happened? What happened when this person, the sender is going to 
send this message, right? When the sender is going to send this message, hello, this is the clear text format. What happened? I'm just going to convert into the, this one. Right? I'm just going to convert into this one. So when the receiver will receive this message, what receiver is going to do? They will just convert. Okay. The L is going to convert with the, this person. H. This I is going to convert with the E. The O is going to convert with the L. And the O is going to convert with L. And then S is going to convert with the O. So actual message is what? So receiver can easily understand, okay, someone is sending the hello. My sender is sending the hello message to me. But in between, if the attacker, for example, this attacker or any king, right? Any person is trying to view this information, what they are viewing, they are viewing this information. This guy, if this attacker is trying to see this information, whatever the information that we are exchanging between the sender and receiver, how they will see? They are actually see the this information, not the actual information. So this is the information that's in secret code is only understandable by the sender and receiver. So in a technical word, we can see that the process of converting the actual masses or we can see the clear text message, right? Into cipher text. Cipher text means what? Undateable format. Or we can see the secret code. Secret masses is known as a encryption. And to convert that secret code or cipher text, we can see it into let me let me remove this daily guy. I think this F1 is creating problem. That is a readable format, or we can say the secret message. Into the readable format is known as a decrypt. So actually how the flow is happening, it is something like that. This my user, right? And what this user you want to do, if this guy, is, if this user is A, and user B and user A will send some information, right? User A will send some information to the user B. How they will send? This guy is going to send the actual message. This is the actual message, my data, right? Hello, right? What that happened, this sender will send, this is the sender, right? And this is the receiver. Right. So what happened? The sender will send a hello message. What happened when this message, this text message is coming to this person? I'm going to perform some uh, encryption over there. I'm going to do the, some encryption over there. Encryption means what? I'm just going to convert this guy into a different language. So I'm going to run the encryption on this particular data, right? I'm going to run the encryption on this particular data. And I'm going to convert into which format? I'm going to convert into the this format. 
like this one. So this is my cipher text, right? And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to send this cipher text to whom? This person. So this is my transmission media. This is my transmission media. On this transmission media, I'm going to send this information. Which information I'm sending? I'm just sending the cipher text of the information, right? So this is my transmission media. It can be anything, right? It can be a wire or wireless. And now what happened? I'm just going to receive the transmission media. What I'm doing, I'm receiving this. After receiving this cipher text, what happened? I'm going to perform the decryption, right? I'm going to perform the decryption. And after performing the decryption, what happened? On this particular information or cipher text, I'm going to perform the decryption and I will send the this actual message to the home. To be. So this is my sender and this is my receiver. So sender is sending this information and again it will come in. I'm going to perform the encryption over there and after performing the encryption I'm getting the cipher text and this guy will send this information to the transmission media and then after that this cipher text convert into the uh, on, on this cipher text I'm going to perform the decryption and after the decryption what happened I'm getting the this output. So what happened on this transmission media on this ISP side, right? On this ISP, on this transmission media, what happened? Whatever the attacker are sitting over there, what attacker can see over there? This attacker is seeing the this cipher text. So the process of converting, right? The process of converting the text information, right? The process of converting the text information into the cipher text is known as the encryption. The process of converting, right? The process of converting the uh, clear text information into the cipher text is known as the encryption. And it, then again, the converting the cipher text into the clear text is known as a decryption. Make sure that, make sure that whatever the algorithm, right? Whatever the algorithm that you are going to use, whatever the algorithm that you are going to use between the encryption, it has to be same on the decryption side. Algorithm in the sense of what, for example, if I'm going to use this language, for example, if this person is A and this person is B, right? And if this person, person is going to write the uh, masses, if this person is going to write masses in the English language, right? If this person is going to write the message in the English language, this language is understandable by the this person English. It's not like that you are writing the language, uh, you are writing the uh, masses in the any Japanese language, right? You are writing the masses in the Japanese language and but this masses is not under this, uh, this Japanese language is not understandable by the B. So in that case, what happened? B cannot understand the masses. That's the meaning of protocol, right? So whatever the protocol, whatever the algorithm, whatever the algorithm that I'm going to use for the encryption, for the example, I'm going to use the encryption algorithm. Take example, I have an encryption algorithm. A, this is my uh, encryption algorithm ABC. This is my encryption algorithm, right? If I'm going to do the encryption algorithm ABC over there, it has to be seen on this guy. It's not like that. right now we have two encryption algorithm ABC and XYZ, right? So if I'm doing the encryption by using the ABC algorithm, you have to do the decryption with the same algorithm. 
you have to do the decryption with the same algorithm. It's not like that, okay, you do the ABC with the encryption, I can do the XYZ as the decryption. It will never ever happen. Because for every single algorithm, we have a different, different mechanism. It is something like that. In normal language, we can say that A, A, B, C. So now the, uh, this ABC is now being converted into D, E, F. The same time, what happened? This is the one encryption. This is the text format. This is the encrypted format, right? Text or cipher. I'm going to convert into this language, right? So again, what happened? For the same person, I'm going to say that ABC. Is I'm going to use the one, two, three. Same way, what happened? I can use the ABC. I can use the top. So if I'm going to use this information, right, to encrypt the information, the same information you have to use the decrypt. If I'm going to encrypt the using this uh, algorithm, I have to use the same algorithm to decrypt. If I'm going to use the, this algorithm to uh, this algorithm to encrypt, I have to use the same algorithm to decrypt. It's not like that we can use the different different algorithm. Right. So what I can say that the process of converting the clear text information, right? The process of converting the clear text information into the cipher text is known as encryption. The converting the cipher text information into the clear text information is known as a decryption. Clear? No. One minute. Which I think this is the book there. I will show you something else, right? Just wait a minute. Yep, I think so. This one can I get.
so what happened the plain text and cipher text plain text is in what the is understandable the human language right any communication in the in the language that you can speak right i can speak and that is a human language text from text the from of a plain text or the clear text this masses is understand by the anybody knowing that language right if you know the hindi if you know the english so there is uh, this is what happened this is the plain text but if if the person uh, if the two person are communicating right if the two person are communicating in the different language that is not understandable me for that me that language is known as a cipher text but if i know the language it means that as a clear text so can you see that this is masses right if i'm going to write any mail uh, hi hope you are doing fine so this mass is what this mass is is understandable by the every person this is the clear text masses of plain text masses but at the same time what happen if i am going to apply some algorithm i am going to convert this guy into the different language for example can you see that this one now now i am going to convert into the different language right what happen this is the cipher text so this is the plain text that i can read over there but this is a cipher text that i cannot read right can you see what information that you are sending over there no even i am not able to read the actual name of the person the name of this guy is atul right can i read this name over there no so the process of converting from here to here right is known as a encryption over there now there is two way right there is two way to convert the normal information or text information right there is two way to convert the text information into the cipher text one is a substitution technique in this substitution technique what happen we are just going to place the alphabet or we can say that we can place the alphabet with the number we can place the alphabet with the like uh, any mis Uh, miscellaneous character in a special character we can do that so the placing the character from one place to the another place that is known as a substitution technique like this one is known as a is that yep. so this one is known as a substitution technique in this one what happened we are just placing the words over there we are just placing the words a now a is going to convert with the this a is going to convert with the e b is going to convert with the f c is going to convert with the g and d is convert with the h over there this is known as a substitution technique in the substitution technique what happen we are just going to place the one word with the another one same thing it's not like the only word i can place the number as well as we just need to place the number that's it nothing else can you see this one here what i did over there i'm just placing the abc with the def i'm just going to place the abc with the 1 2 3 and i'm going to place with the abc with the any special character i'm just going to place the no uh, any uh, read, uh, like a text format with the different different formats over there this is known as a substitution technique over there but at the same time what happened we have another mechanism is known as a transposition in a transposition what happen we are not going to place the word we are just going to convert our the normal language in the diagonal format diagonal form in the sense of what for example i have written the hello over there what i can do i can just write this hello like this sorry 
Now, how I'm sending this message, I'm just going to send this message like this. Row by row. This is on a transposition master, right? In the transposition, what happened? I'm just going to write in the Dynamo V, right? So how am I able to understand those uh, meter guy? Of course not. This is the clear text masses I'm going to convert into the, this way. This is the transposition. In the substitution, what happened? I'm just going to place the word, right? Replacing the alphabet with the one to three place down to the order, right? So in this substitution technique, right, we have a multiple ways, like a, we have a seizure cipher, we have a different, different way that we are not going to learn because here we are not going to learn the cryptography. I just let you know how this thing will be converted, how we are going to secure my data. And another way we have, uh, now see that this one, the cipher text, we have a L, L, O, L, R, O, B, Y, that's we have did over there. Now, if you see, We have a multiple way to convert this thing. It's not a single way. Like we have a polygram substitution cipher. We have a, a homophonic, a homophonic substitution cipher. They are different, different ways, right? To just find this information. Then after that, we have a transposition technique. Only two techniques are there to convert your clear text masses into the different format in the cipher text. So when we have a substitution in the substitution, what happened? We are just going to place the word. In the transposition, what happened? We are just going to put the diagonal format. So like he see how what their message is coming in the come home tomorrow, right? What I'm going to convert like this. And how I'm writing this message, I'm just going to write this message the first diagonal over there, like this, C M H M T M R O, right till this point. And then after that, I'm going to start from this side. This is what I'm going to do with the transposition mechanism. In a substitution, I'm just going to place the word. In a transposition, what I'm going to do, so I'm just going to put the diagonal format. So you can see the zigzag as well as right. This is how we are actually doing the converting this actual this message. And this is not now we are. This is the this is the just a order that we are following like this. Convert any mass, this is the original te uh, text message over there. I'm just going to convert any text message into the, this format. So how the internet will see, the sender will send this message by using the algorithm, we can convert this guy into the, this format. So how on, on internet side, I'm going to send this message, not the this. When the receiver is going to receive, they know this format, right? They know the transposition. If you are doing the substitution, for example, if I'm doing the substitution order for A is doing the transposition mechanism, so A has to inform to the B, hey, whatever the masses that I'm sending you, whatever the masses that I'm sending you, I'm sending you in the transposition format. So B will receive this masses and what B will do, the B will apply the transposition mechanism on this one. And then after that, they will find the actual masses. So in between, if any other person is trying to read this guy, what happened? They are just trying to read this format, not the actual letter. So there is two way to convert your text into the cipher text, or we can say that there's two way to modify your text into the cipher text. Like either you can use the substitution mechanique or either you can use the transposition. Okay, uh, law, coming back to that. So you're telling me that A will inform B that whether he's using the substitution or the transposition, right? So B will accordingly exactly. you have to uh, apply. That for... Yeah, so B will accordingly apply that algorithm yeah, yeah. and according basically 
Correct. But how will A inform right, B right, right. about that? How will A uh, inform that, that message? Okay. That I'm coming. That I'm coming to the point. One minute. So this is the encryption decryption in the format, right? So it is something. Like, what is the encryption? So you have a plain text like "Hello John." What I can do? I can just going to perform the encryption algorithm, and I will convert into the cipher text, right? And what happened? This is the message. The process of uh, the process of encoding the plain text message into the cipher text is known as a encryption. At the same time, what happened when the cipher text is received? I'm going to perform the decryption over there, and based on the decryption, I can get the plain text. So this is the actual message that sender is sending, and this is the actual message that receiver is receiving, right? Though uh, another thing is that uh, you need to follow the same uh, encryption algorithm and decryption algorithm. It's not like you can use a different algorithm over there, right? Now. Do you know what happened? If I'm going to tell you, if uh, this is the guy A, and uh, this is the B, and A is present in the HSR layout, take example, right? And B is present in the Kalyanagar, right? And A has a, some courier, right? A has a, some courier. So what happened? A will put this courier into the. So for example, A want to send some information, right? Uh, A want to send any courier office. So what happened? They will put this courier into this. So this is the actual uh, info data, or we can say that packets. Right. And this is the actual information that was in the, this box. So what happened? This box is carry. This person is going to give this box to the home, a courier service. Right. This is a courier service. So what happened? This A will give this box. This is the box, and A will give this box to the courier service. What courier service is going to do in this case? Courier service is just going to give this information to the B. Normally, what they are doing, right? Normally, what they are doing. But take example. What happened? the person who is going to deliver right the person the person this is the courier person this person who is going to deliver this box to the this person but what happened in middle what happened this guy is going to trying to open this courier and just have a look what information that you are exchanging between a and b they can easily see that right so can i do like this i can lock this guy i can lock this box with the particular one lock over there i can lock this box if i'm not going to lock what happened this uh, the middle person can is if they want they can easily see okay whatever the information that you're sending it's something like that whenever you're carrying your trolley right from one location to another location what happened you are putting the lock over there if you're not going to put the lock in airport what happened they can the uh, like uh, your trolley and they can see whatever the information that you're carrying over there right same thing what happened if i'm going to put the lock over there if i'm going to put the lock so what happened i'm going to put the lock and at the put the lock or what happened i'm just going to put the keys over there so these are the key that key is going to help to open this lock so in that case what happened again the problem is that the first issue is that if i'm going to if i'm not going to put the lock they can easily see the information what happened if i'm going to put the lock if i'm going to put the lock what happened i need to put the keys over there so that the other person can open this lock with the key right 
so that other person can open this lock with the key. But again, you are sending your key with the box. You are still sending your key with the box. So to avoid these two problems, what I can do with a we before exchanging this information, right? Before exchanging this information, first we need to private, first we meet, meet, make a private meet. Some any other location. In this private meet, what happened? I can say the own keys over there. I can say this key to the this person. Hey, take this key. Try to understand one thing. What I can do, I'm just going to put the, uh, I'm just going to lock this box. Okay, now I'm not going to save this key. I already this I already say this key as any private medium, right? Any private medium, I already say this key to the this person. So I'm sending to this person, hey, whenever I'm sending, whenever I'm putting the lock over there, you need to use this key to open this lock. It is something like that. If you just have a look over there. Yep. Can you see what is the use of this law? I, I can use this lock to lock my like uh, my box over there. And in this lock, what happened? I'm going to uh, make a like a series of what? One, two, three. So if you're going to match the one, two, three, this lock will be open, right? If I'm going to match the one, two, three, this lock will be open. So what is the keys happening? Is there any keys over there? No. I'm just informing my uh, like my neighbor or my receiver, hey, whenever I'm first, I have to make a private connection, right? First, I'm going to make a private connection over there. And I'm just informing this person, hey, whenever we are going to meet, we need to use this key to open the lock. If you're not doing like this, if you're not doing like this, what happened? Any person can decrypt your masses, right? I need to I need to put my box, right? I need, I need to put my box uh, in the some courier box, right? And I need to lock that box over there so that only authorized person can receive my data and can view my data and can modify my data over there. So what I'm gonna do guys over there, at time of implementing, at the time of implementation of the encryption, right? At the time of the implementation of the encryption algorithm, I need to use the key as well as. And this key, I'm going to exchange either a static way or other dynamic. And for this exchanging this key, we have a, another algorithm. It's not like that we can exchange the key directly to this person, right? If I'm going to do the static, in a static, what happened? Most of the time, what happened? This key will be, you have to manipulate, you have to change this guy. Because key can also be tampered, right? This key also can be tampered. For example, if the middle person know, okay, you put the lock over there, they are trying to perform a unlock, right? They are trying to perform an unlock. So they they know maybe the one time, two times, three times, four times, maybe the hundred times, they will find the actual key. Okay, this is the key that you have to uh, lock this guy, right? So what happened? I need to use the either you can change the key manually at the random interval, or either you need to use the dynamic way. Again, what happened to exchange this key? I need to use some algorithm so that this key will be exchanged securely over there. Because, for example, I want to secure my data. I want to send my data from India to the USA. I cannot share this key like directly. I need to go to the USA location and I, I need to give this key to the that person. Okay, take this key. 
okay whenever i'm going to send my information you need to decrypt that uh, you need to decrypt using this key i need to exchange that key over the internet side in a secure manner to that exchanging i need to use the another algorithm that is known as a dh defay helmet So basically, we can say that lock, and this is my sorry, yeah, this is my lock, this is my key, one, two, three. So this lock will be a encryption algorithm, and this key, uh, this one to three will be key. In a normal language, in a simple language, we can say that. So right now, what is the key is happening? This key is. Take example. Where is that print? In this one, what is the key is happening? In this one, the key is like this: the placing the four words. Now A is going to convert with the E, right? The placing with the four words. So I can say this is my key over there. This is my key over there. A is going to convert with the hash, and B is going to convert with the dollar. Sorry, at, at the rate. Here's the A is converting the one, and B is going to convert with the two over there, and C is going to convert the three. This key I need to exchange over the internet. And to extend this key, we need to use the another algorithm that is known as a DH. That I'll show you how this key will be extended through the DH as well. Don't worry about that. But again, to perform the encryption, right, we need to have a separate algorithm. To perform the encryption, we need to have a separate algorithm. And to perform the key exchanging, we need to have a separate algorithm if you're not going to uh, if you're uh, if you're not going to extend the key if you're not going to change your key at some random interval time what happened this key will be tempered by the any other person this key will be tempered by the attacker as well as okay Good, guys anyone has a question in the substitution and the transposition technique, right? So tomorrow we'll see the DH key, right? How the DH key is working. Swami, do you have any questions you have? Mandar, Jadip, Lord, Sajid. Sir, if anyone has hmm. a uh, good knowledge of even the logical design transposition, they can easily decode whatever the coding of whatever the code we have used to, you know, just our text to, into get message right The world is
ठीक है क्वेश्चन से नहीं मीनिंग and even nobody will ask you hey explain the transposition technique and substitution technique in the interview and nobody will ask you how the uh, decryption algorithm is working they will just ask you whatever the decryption algorithm we have whatever the encryption algorithm we have how the key exchange will be happen which algorithm i am going to use the key exchange that's it nothing else okay so if you want this book i can share this book with you as well as okay this is a good book actually if you want to learn the cryptography you can go for it otherwise no need to go for it right no need to waste your time over there so what are we going to discuss this portion right cryptography or techniques that's going to be tricky and asymmetric key. so actually what happened or the key will be uh, two taps though you can do the symmetric and asymmetric key. i'll explain those thing part or tomorrow don't worry and maybe the tomorrow will go through the configuration part as well as that is it ओके चलो बाय बाय